Hey there. So last night down in Dallas, there was quite a bit of shooting, and I think uh, four or five maybe cop roaches lost their lives, and as expected today, a whole bunch of people are up in arms. Uh, coincidentally enough, last night we had recorded an episode of the Seeds of Liberty where we were discussing the recent shootings of Austin Sterling and Philando Castile, and uh, all this stuff started happening in Dallas shortly after we got off the air. So uh, it was a it was a weird coincidence, maybe. Um, there's of course conspiracy theories flying around, and nobody has all the information as usual, but people are speculating. Um, I'd just like to say this. Last week I put out a video talking about you know, when is a good time to shoot a cop or a, a Fed in general, a federal agent, a state agent, whatever. And I said that, you know, there are instances where you're fully within your quote-unquote rights to defend yourself regardless of whether that person is wearing a special badge, has a special costume, um, or has some alleged authority over you. I cannot really condone the actions of what happened last night. Now, that being said, I have stated before, and I will continue to stand by this, that I believe there is a moral justification for killing agents of the state that have a job which entails initiating aggression against peaceful people on the regular. So, morally, I don't really have a problem with it, and I'm not necessarily going to shed tears over the lost life of a cockroach. Um, the funny thing is, uh, a lot of Americans are all up in arms about, you know, the boys in blue losing their lives, yet every year on the 4th of July, they celebrate the death of the Redcoats, who at the time were essentially cops. Contradictions abound in statism. But, like I said, I think it is, there is a moral justification because these individuals receive extorted funds as payment and they take an oath to, you know, serve and protect or whatever the garbage they say, but their job requires them to enforce the arbitrary edicts of the political elite and then they're given discretion on top of that. So some cops don't do all the bad things, but many of them engage in what can only be determined as immoral behavior. And then not nearly enough of them, in fact, after the shootings this past in the past couple of days, I've only seen one cop come out and actually speak up and call what happened to Mr. Castile murder. Um, but they never stand up and say anything, because even if they're not the ones actually doing these actions, they stand behind the thin blue line. So, again, there is a moral justification, as far as I'm concerned. I do not, however, find it to be a pragmatic approach. Because while you could go out and just start randomly shooting police officers, um, the chances are you're going to get yourself killed, and most people are going to look on, upon you badly. Now, this specific instance last night in Dallas, you know, obviously there's not all the facts out, and there's a bunch of different spin cycles being put in place at the same time. It appears that it was premeditated in some capacity, and that I just can't get behind, because you're in Dallas, you're in Texas, most of you motherfuckers have guns. This is a good thing. Why not, instead of setting up and sniping cops from buildings, why don't you all just grab your guns and surround the motherfuckers? Because that's the type, uh, it's the type of stuff I was talking about with the Operation Tub and Redux. This is also what I reiterated last week in the video when I, when I was discussing the situation of the poor 19-year-old 
uh, disabled girl who got her ass whooped by the TSA. It does not take violence to actually solve these problems. Is it a quicker solution sometimes? Possibly. But in a situation where you have, you know, a shitload of gun owners who, many of whom, open carry regularly down there, why not get together and just form a wall around the police? Intimidate the fuck out of them, sure. But if you're going to be taking shots at them from, with sniper rifles and risking yourself getting killed anyway, doesn't it make more sense to try it in a slightly more peaceful manner? Because the chances of you getting shot in that situation are probably just as good, maybe actually less, than if you're sniping them from some building and they find out where you are, just like the one individual last night supposedly found out very well, because they sent a bomb in after him. So, like I said, I get the anger. I get the hostility. Believe me, I do. And... I still believe that it is morally justified to take such actions. I just think there's a better way to go about it. And I think if people in the different communities who all have their issues with law enforcement in general could get together and talk about solutions like this instead, we could see a lot more progress towards freedom for everybody. That's all I got for today. Love, peace, and voluntary interactions for all.